But I was trying to snag the remote control to mute my TV before it started. It's supposed to have a two-minute delay, and that was not two minutes. Anyway, hello, everybody. It's Tuesday. It's a dreary Tuesday out there tonight, and it was really foggy last night, too. I did a video yesterday, and it would not load up. Here we go again. So hopefully tonight's will. I don't even think I'll load. I'll just redo from Monday. And yes, we got back from the Bay Area on Sunday, and then I had a doctor's appointment yesterday. That went really well. That was with my primary care doctor, and just a follow-up. And all of my test results from my last blood test, which was, I think, the week after I got back from Hawaii, so about two weeks ago, he was really pleased with the results of my blood work, and my weight's back up again. He's happy. I'm not very happy about that. And I am so yellow today. God, I've got to switch over to the other room, because this yellow has got to go, and it's the lighting in here. Anyway, but yeah, so I went to the doctor's, and then we went to our little Mexican place for dinner. That was good. As a matter of fact, I had leftovers and had that for lunch today. And then we just got back from P.F. Chang's for dinner tonight, and it was good. It was really good. And P.F. Chang's has got to be by far one of my favorite Chinese restaurants. And we just got the Hunan pork, which is really good. And we got the Singapore street noodles, which is my favorite dish that they have. And our service was really good tonight. So I like those not-too-fussy, over-the-top waiters. We had one over the weekend at the Franciscan. He was so over-the-top, and it was lousy service. But he was wearing his little maitre d' coat, and was walking around with his hand in his pocket the whole time like this. I was like, girlfriend, please, easy does it. Anyway, but no, it was good tonight. And then tomorrow, I have got my physical therapy appointment in the afternoon. And it's been really spotty, my appointments with her. So hopefully we'll get back on track, starting with tomorrow. And I won't be able to see her on Friday. I'm supposed to be going twice a week, because Friday is New Year's. I don't think that's going to happen. Anyway, but yeah, so it was good. And last night, I officially started searching for our home. And we were talking about it over the weekend. And he gave me parameters to look for for a house, you know, in dollar amounts. Because I really had no idea, you know, what he would be willing to spend or, you know, what. And we're looking at it. It won't be cheap. I found a couple of houses that I really liked. The first one is in a gated community on the river. Well, they call it the River Lake. And it's a beautiful house. We were hoping to get a one-story, but this will be a two-story. And the other one I found is right down the street from one of his clients, who's also one of his best friends. And that could be problematic later on, I think. Because I think he would be spending a lot of time at our house, or vice versa. Because we would, in fact, be neighbors. So that's a little odd. Luckily, I like him a lot, and I like his family a lot. You know, his wife and his kids and that kind of stuff. But we'll see. So maybe by this weekend, if the weather lets up, we'll go look at some houses and see what's what. We're not in a rush or anything. And the other thing, we were even talking about it tonight. He's really missing Hawaii. And so he's like, I kind of want to book another trip now. I'm not complaining about that. No way, no how. I had the most restful, peaceful vacation I think I've ever had in my life just two weeks ago. So I would not be sad if we were headed back. The question is, where do we go this time? I could do the Big Island again. I could do Honolulu again. But again, 
with Waikiki, there's a lot of walking, and I'm just not really down with that. I loved where we stayed because we had a rental car, so we didn't stay at the resort as much as I originally thought we would. But there are so many cool places right by where we were, and we did so much in 11 days that it was cool. And then he's also talking about going to Fiji again, so we'll see. I'm out of breath. The weather's kind of, the air's kind of bad out there today, so I'm a little asthmatic today. Brrr. Anyway, I don't have too much else going on, and I'm just waiting to get some more test results. I had more blood work done yesterday because there were two tests that he had left out, and so I didn't get the results back, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking. No news is good news, and I'm not particularly worried about either of the tests, so after I get off from this video, I'm going to go check my email and see whether or not I got something from my medical group in my email with my test results. If not, it'll be a couple days. But other than that, nothing else going on. He's a busy bee at work right now, and people are climbing out of the woodwork, and he's getting case after case after case, which is great. And now that he's partner, his retainer and his hourly fees are a lot. So, you know, there are people trying to get him for what he used to charge when he was just an associate, and it doesn't wash that way now. So he's negotiating a little bit here and there. You know, if he thinks the cases are worth it, he'll go down to like a $5,000 retainer, and that's pretty cheap. So he's good at what he does. And anyway, but other than that, I'm still just poking around here. I am still crocheting myself into triangles. I unraveled one of my blankets that started out, you know, so long, and by the time I was knitting or crocheting on the way up to San Francisco, I was like, oh, look, it's the Transamerica building. It was sad. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I know it's my turns. Plus, I'm doing the two different stitches. Every other stitch is a little bit different than the one before. So I may just scrap that one and unravel it again and move on to one that I know is successful. I have three in the works right now. So I don't know what the heck I'm doing wrong. And I haven't gotten my sushi kit yet. We did look last night for it, and we went to Macy's, and they didn't have it. They said sushi kits are generally only sold in the summer. And then we went back to Nugget Market where I did see the sushi kit, and the girl said that she could get it today. Did we go today? No, because he worked kind of late. So we missed her at the market. So maybe I think I'll swing by there tomorrow on my way back from physical therapy and see whether or not she has it, and then I can call him and say, Get your butt home. She's got the kit. So anyway, that's all I have for today. And you guys have a fantastic Wednesday, and wish me luck with my PT appointment. I don't want to see the Raider guy again because <laughs> he'll beat me up. He'll make me do stuff I don't want to do. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Take good care. Bye.